Thanks for joining me. I'm going to show you some of the particular safety concerns and hazards and things that you can do to protect yourself and your computers as you work. When we talked during our lecture and our intro, there are a number of different uh, places that you could work as a CompTIA A plus certified professional, such as factories or businesses or restaurants, schools and offices and homes or server rooms. So you have to be aware of your surrounding in the particular areas and make sure that you have uh, no issues that you could come in contact with or your customers could come in contact with and be hurt. So what I'm gonna show you is some of the just specific uh, warnings as far as electricity, but I wanted to talk briefly just about some of the things you look around for your surroundings. You need to look around the customer's area. Make sure that's a safe work environment. There's so many different places you work. Uh, look for water in particular areas, but also uh, be cautious of how you're lifting and slips and trips and falls. There's any number of things that uh, can cause issue or harm to you or your customers. So I wanted to start here just talking a little bit about electricity and things you should be aware of. There's always specific warning plates or warnings on different pieces of equipment. This is an instruction manual here. I always read these just to be sure that I'm okay and I understand what the symbols are. This is a basic uh, symbol that lets you know that there are some personal safety issues. This lets you know that there could be a danger or a hazardous situation. And these things, uh, like a warning and caution, are differentiated by things that could cause either serious injury or death, or some kind of a minor injury, or just something that uh, may not be related to personal safety. Like if you're doing an installation, that lets you know that, hey, you might uh, over, over voltage this or damage some kind of a component if you don't do this. So it, there's particular notices. As far as ESD, you'll see a notice that looks uh, similar to this, shaped like that in design. So. Um, you don't always see all of these on every manufacturer. You don't always get all of the warnings that you need, so you have to be aware of what particular things can be in your environment and what's available there that you need to protect against or make sure that you're not harmed. Got another piece of equipment here, and they're all different, but every manufacturer has a different uh, discussion on there. This one says, caution, risk of electric shock if opened. And that can, cause, uh, that can harm, cause harm to you or any other user if they're opening it without any kind of specific training. One thing I did want to talk about was the ability or, or the companies that really talk about safety and talk about cabling. And specifically, this is Underwriters Laboratory. You want to look for a symbol like this, and there's also CSA International. And the two of them actually uh, work to make sure that electrical products are safety for our use. So... A lot of times you'll, you'll hear or you'll talk with customers or, or vendors and they'll say, we're UL listed. That's what it means. It's basically been run through a laboratory and made sure that it's uh, safe for human use and everything that's critical to these components has been looked at and independently tested in a laboratory so it's, uh, it's safe for use. And those are really important factors when you're looking at things and the quality of the products that you purchase. I don't use uh, any products unless they're UL listed or I've got something from the CSA as far as a sticker on here. So you'll see that on just about ele every electrical component that you work with, and that gives you a particular degree of safety knowing that you're uh, covered as far as electrical concerns.